Hello everybody, this is a wig review for Peyton by Henry Margu in the color 7H. Now before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time we do a new wig review. You're also going to want to follow us on Facebook. We have a private Facebook group called Cloud9 Wig Share and Support Group. And we also have a very active Instagram channel. It's cloud9 underscore wigs. So follow us there to keep up to date on the latest stuff. And we look forward to having you as part of the family. All right, so let's get started. So Peyton is the cutest little curly bob style. I, as soon as I took her out of the box, I was like, oh, this is, Adorable, so cute, and there's so much you can do with this. But let's get started with the color first, 7H. So the way that they um, describe it is it's a chocolate brown with caramel highlights. So I'm gonna give you a close up here. I'm gonna give you a spin around so you can see what she looks like. Okay, hope that helped you get a sense of the style. She does have a lace front. And she does have a mono top. So while I have her kind of swept over like this, that's how she came out of the box, we can part it different ways, which I'll, I'll show you in a little bit. I just, this, this style is so fun to me. Um, you can just throw it on and go. I just, I, I, as soon as I saw it, I loved it. And the color is just a really pretty, medium brown, but it still has that dimension with some highlights, which I really, really like. All right, so let's get into some of the specs for you. So first of all, the wig weighs about three ounces. So it feels very light on my head. Now it is an average cap size, and I have to tell you, I'm a 21 and a half inch circumference, and I'm like 12 inches from ear to ear. Um, this fits big on me, um, mostly right here in the like crown and upper cap area. I would say if you're a, an average, a 22 inch, 22 and a half, I think this could even go up to for those larger head sizes, like 23 inch. I think that would be ideal for me it is a bit a bit large and there's some other styles that I bought that I'm going to do reviews of that are petite average in Henry Margot and those seem to fit me better as a 21 and a half inch circumference just so you know okay so the front is seven inches right there the crown is five to eight point five the sides are four inches to seven inches, and the nape is four inches to seven inches. So this does have a lace front. They did a really nice job. And a mono top. Let's see if we can, uh, show some of that and I'll show you a few styling options so you can see what's going on it's just got these cute like layers with these waves now I tried to do the tuck yeah you can do a little bit of a tuck if you want um, it feels very light especially having this length I love that it doesn't touch my collar so it's not gonna rub against my my clothing which I think is good. It's a uh, straight synthetic, so you're not gonna want to apply heat to it. You can use some steam on it if you want to kind of change the direction of things, but you know, it's just so cute out of the box. Um, 
you know, so up to you. But anyway, um, like I said, it's regular synthetic. Some of the Henry Margu fibers do tend to be a little bit shiny, so you may have to use that dry shampoo to tone down the shine. No big deal, but just so you know that too, I just want to educate you on that. Okay, so the inside of the cap. Got a really nice lace front. Actually, it's pretty extended there, which is nice the mono top. So whenever you see a lace front uh, or a mono top or both, um, this area, it means this area is hand tied, right? And the reason it's hand tied, anytime you have something that's hand tied, the movement is more natural. This, because it's open all here and hand tied, you can change the part which is really helpful when you're wanting to style different ways. And in the front, because it's extended, so if, if I've got lace from here to here, I can pull my hair off my face and it'll look like the hair is growing from my scalp. So it has an open wefted cap. It's pretty stretchy. It has the um, extended nape. Uh, it does have metal stays in it, so you can bend them toward your nape. It has the um, Velcro adjusters and the um, ear tabs are velvet as well and you can see they actually place some hair right on the ends of or like in front of the ear tab and that helps too with coverage which so it's a really nice cap as far as permatease goes let's take a look i believe there is some here yes yeah, so there's some in the crown it's not a ton and i don't mind it at the crown it gives it a little bit of of a lift. Let's see if it's elsewhere. Yeah, there's some all throughout probably the top part um, of the head. But again, it's covered so well, you can't, you can't see it. Um, let's see if there's any on the nape. Yeah, so there's some at the nape as well. But I'm telling you, you just can't, you can't see it. You don't even, you don't see it on the crown. It's covered. Let me get it in the right. These kind of waves cover that underneath part where the permatease is. It just gives it a little bit of lift. I think it makes it extra super cute. And there's the color of my head. If you absolutely hate permatease, then you know, this might not work for you, but I'm telling you it's it's really actually a good thing, I think, for this style. But it's always up to you and what you're comfortable with. All right? So let's try a few styles. 